Hello, today I will be discussing not any regular woman, yeah, a woman that went on to inspire um, hundreds and millions of uh, Middle Easterns and Arabs and non-Middle Easterns, um, a woman that changed the course of history in the Middle East. Um, here today we have Layla Al-Attar, who is an Iraqi-born artist. Um, she was born in 1944 in Baghdad, Iraq. As we all know, uh, Iraq was one of the leading countries in the Middle East. I mean, we're talking hundreds and thousands of years of civilization where um, the first alphabet was created, one of the most world-renowned empires uh, with the ancient Babylonian empire existed. Um, so we have really rich history and we have um, one of the most uh, fertile lands between in the world between the Euphoria and the Tigris River. And um, that city is Baghdad and that has um, given us one of the world's largest civilizations. Um, <clears throat> Layla Al-Attar comes from an affluent family. Uh, she did study in Switzerland, um, and she was always um, into art and into history. Um, she is also um, the first woman um, to actually get her PhD in the Middle East. Uh, some of her greatest achievements before becoming an artist was uh, she became the director of the Center of National Art for Iraq in being in charge of millions and billions of dollars worth of art. Um, let's not forget the Babylonian Empire, which is in future day Iraq. Um, all that history from the Ashtar Blue Gates that have been stolen and are in Germany at the moment. Um, she um, <clears throat> was able to actually make the museum become world renowned. Um, she also was a large activist about peace. And um, even though I didn't really include this in my um, project here, but I just wanted to say that she was a big activist against the US bombing the Middle East. And um, she was also um, really big onto women's rights. And um, she challenged um, uh, cultural and uh, social uh, beliefs about women. And we see that in her paint. The first painting that I wanted to discuss was um, our painting for today, which is uh, named Women in a Forest. Um, it was created in 1980. Uh, the painting consists of an oil and an egoistic on paper laid on canvas. And um, uh, it is more, considered an impression and part of the impressionist art as we can take a look in the bottom of the painting very 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 lightly you can see a shadow of a woman in the corner between trees and uh, another thing that I really loved about her painting and this specific painting is the way that she shows the moon in this light depiction almost in the center of the painting while consisting the rest of the painting with dark dark blacks and even the shadow of the woman in the bottom uh, is in light gray and she always wanted to depict the struggles of women society how much women struggle and um she is uh, a huge feminist in the middle east or she was i should say before her murder. Um, as we can see this later on, she explains that this woman is depicting the struggles of women having to fight throughout society uh, to be accepted. Um, another thing that I would like to mention um, is that her art was very different from the Middle East because it's it's more of impressionist uh, style of art where for hundreds and thousands of years in the Middle East, um, our most popular type of art is usually religious, either Islamic or Christian. Uh, the other painting that I wanted to discuss for today uh, is named Mother Earth, uh, which was curated in the same year in 1980. It, it is oil on canvas, and it was also created in Iraq. Um, it, it also depicts women in struggle. As we can see here, there's a lot more shadowing um, and figurative uh, bodies, as well as we can see a skeleton in the right bottom corner. And we can see the back uh, figure, figure of a woman. Um, she is really known as well, uh, yet again, um, for her style um, with uh, blending and um, the light colors going from dark to light to dark again. Um, 
she um, here tries to really depict or all her art depicts women in nature somehow struggling and we can see this woman almost crawling um, and then we can see trees and mountains as well um, she really enjoyed in majority of all of her art showing women in nature um, one other thing that I wanted to discuss um, is that Layla um, <clears throat> and her death, um, she went on to inspire uh, the next generations of not just the Middle East, of the world, um, as a feminist, as uh, the first woman to achieve a PhD, um, to fight against death and murder and war. Um, she went on to inspire people like Zaha Hadid, who is an affluent um, architect that we know and love and has designed some of the most famous buildings in the world, um, who also was inspired by a fellow Iraqi woman, uh, Layla Al-Attar. Um, another person that I care to mention is um, uh, Hazim Ali, who is an Indian American poet and a professor who also mentions her in some of his work and he writes poetry about her. Um, another person that I care to mention uh, would be one of our American songwriters and um, he depicts the story um, of basically how he was inspired uh, by her protests against the war in Iraq, Chris Chris Dunferson, um, and uh, excuse me for mispronunciating his name, and he wrote a song called The Circle and it depicts um, you know, Layla Latar's protests and, you know, she notoriously had um, done a painting of uh, George Bush with mosaics on the floor of a very famous hotel that people would step on his face. And, you know, many people say that that's why the U.S. had killed her uh, when they were raiding the Iraq in the Second War. Um, she, unfortunately, after her death, um, the, sent the Museum of the... The Museum of Baghdad in Iraq was uh, loaded. All the stuff was uh, taken out. And um, unfortunately, we know Iraq today as a country full of war, hunger, starvation, as a third world country, where it was once a first world country. Um, <clears throat> and unfortunately, you know, all that art has been lost. And it really does sadden me. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show you guys for today. These are my citations. Um, thank you so much for letting me introduce my project. Uh, thank you for your time.